Somebody call for an icon. Yeah. Hi everyone, it's Raja. And I'm the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season three. Raja, my queen, I bow to thee. <laughs> Watch out, children. Mother is here. Okay, if Ru's mother, then I'm Auntie. Auntie Raja is here, and she's about to teach y'all a lesson. Prepare! Bitch is bad. Raja is this beautiful, elegant gazelle. Just breathtaking. I'm a creator, I'm a performer, I'm an entity. Raja, Raja, Raja. <laughs> I love her. Smizing. <laughs> I just think she is not to be played with. Winning season three catapulted me onto a global stage. I have had opportunities to be in runways around the world. I have a one-woman show, which has allowed me to showcase the full depth of my charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. And of course, I am one of the co-hosts of Fashion Photo Review. I don't like it. Ooh. I like it, I guess. I'm gonna give this a two. Oh my God! I'm a Gemini, so I'm all love and good vibes, but also there's a very competitive side to me. I'm not here to f around. I'm here to win the goddamn prize. You know, it's been over 10 years for me. Wow. wow. What? Holy shit is right, yeah. All of my competitors have won Drag Race more recently than I have, but I'm OG as f Does that mean I was in high school? <laughs> or in the womb? Fact. Icon. <laughs> Look, you guys, I even wore nails. I know. Let's keep this short and simple. B O O G E R S. Boogers. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Up next, Raja. I'm the runway queen, but Naomi Campbell is goddess. So I'm just gobsmacked. I'm slayed. I'm gagged. Love somebody the way you put that body. La trans. The poses are great. Your work for me is great. Thank you. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you. Legends rise. We're legendary. Watch me touch the sky. High, high, rainbow high. Legendary legends never die. Raja, the goddess, supreme and deity. There is no rivalry, God that you worship me. Iconic style, transcending he or she. Refer to my pronouns as thou. Drop to your knees and bow. First up, Raja. You know, if it ain't for okay, don't fix it. Well, she put the verse in Versailles. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Raja means king in Indonesian, so I wanted to go with the ultimate gay king idea of Louis XIV. I designed the outfit, basically shoe first, and then I built the look around it. Oh, yeah, honey, she's going for Baroque. <laughs> all stars, all winners, Snatch Game. You all remember her from Waylon Flowers and Madam. Here is Madam. I've been on Hollywood Square, I've been on The Tonight Show, and now I'm just on Quaaludes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on down to Madam. All right, what say you, Madam? Lady Bunny's my very old, 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 old oh, friend. Yeah. Wooden teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Not a match, Madam, but a very good answer. Ross, this one's for you. Okay. Michelle Visage is hosting a new spinoff, oh. Drag Race New Jersey. <laughs> The winner will receive a year supply of blank. If Michelle is there, you're gonna need a year supply of penicillin. Oh, yes! I was gonna say antibiotic. Good answer! <laughs> Let's move on down to Madam. Madam, have you spent time in New Jersey? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but I hear the women there love to have a little bit of sparkle. Yes. I just so happen to be wearing my summer diamonds today. You are? Absolutely. Summer diamonds and summer not. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
My answer is bling bling. <laughs> Not a match for Ross. The legend, fashion icon, Diana Vreeland is here. Diana Vreeland, darling. So much style, so much inspiration. What inspires you now? Purple mittens. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say purple mittens. <laughs> okay! Deanna Vreeland. Right. Candy Muse has become a hometown hero back in the Bronx. In fact, they even named a blank after her. We're looking for Bodega. Ah, oh, you see, I adore a gal with a Rubenesque figure. Yes. And speaking of, I'm a bit starving and could use a Ruben myself, and I might go to a Bodega. Oh. Next, Raja. Who the f is Pleather? <laughs> Purchased at the best little pleather shop in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> this look, I'm inspired by glam rock. London around 1974, a Bowie-esque sort of moment. And I'm walking to the corner market, just to go pick up a pack of Siggies and go sit in a pub for a bit. It's just sexy and rock and roll. Sissy that walk. Yeah. <laughs> Raja. Oh my. <laughs> I would sit with my grandmother and we would watch Wheel of Fortune together. I'm sure wherever she's watching from in another realm that she's really quite proud of me in my almost exact Vanna look. I think she's coming for my job. <laughs> <laughs> Inspired by the Golden Pagoda in Myanmar, it's Raja. Oh, Rue, I bet she can't wait to see how this turns out. Yes. I look great. It is gold on gold on gold on gold, golden goddess. She obviously is Miss Universe representing Myanmar. For sake, I give myself a shoot. You know, we should just sleeve her alone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Fairytale Justice. The princes are charming, the stepmothers are evil, and the judge is a total witch. Bring in the witness! This is plaintiff number two. She claims Goldie isn't who she seems and has a reputation for telling lies. State your name, please. Gwendolyn Constance Periwinkle Hood. I live in the Shady Pines Convalescent Care, uh -huh. just over the river and, and through, through the, the woods. woods. Yes. Right, I know right. that one. I also have a boyfriend. Yes, his name is Geppetto. Mm -hmm. Yes, Frisky. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ow. And how are you involved in this case? This young lady here is my granddaughter. <gasps> and her name is not actually Goldie. Her name is Lil Red. I know nothing of what this lady is talking about. My name is Helga, and I am from Germany, and I just like to eat strudel. You're from Glendale. We do not have Glendale in Germany. Hmm. Didn't that werewolf eat you? Oh, yes. She's actually told people that I was eaten by the wolf. Really? Yes, but the truth is that she was actually being eaten herself oh. by the wolf. You know what I mean by eating? Oh, dear. Oh, in fact, there he is. Oh, hello, that's the wolf. Oh. That was, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. The last time I saw that wolf, he was howling in her Oh! oh! Clearly, you have a psychological problem and a history of breaking and entering and eating. All right, listen. Oh! I'm from Glendale. I told you! Glendale! I grew up with a wicked stepmother. Well, it looks like the litigants are just now arriving in the courtroom lobby. Do you, do you mind if I say hi to some people? No, I oh. don't mind at all. Hi, dears! Look at me! I'm on TV! Hi, Mom! Yeah, yeah. Russia! Well, that's the most gorgeous chastity belt I've ever seen. My mama said, never leave home without your mace. <laughs> <laughs> I was a kid who loved movies that have fantasy, a little bit of science fiction. I have my medieval weapon. I am set for battle. I am ready for the war. I didn't know Flash Gordon could get any gayer. <laughs> <laughs> It is my honor to present Raja. <laughs>
Greetings, friends. <laughs> it is my great honor to be here. I am aware of your presence. <laughs> <laughs> I am Raja, soothsayer, sorceress, sage, and speaker tonight. <laughs> here are five important pieces of earned wisdom to remember. One, time in this realm will feel rapid and limited. Grasp every moment and connect always to the ebb and flow, cause we're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Two, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> like a lot lot. <laughs> Till you can't <laughs> no more. <laughs> Three, pay your taxes. Yeah. They are watching. They know when you're asleep and awake. They know you purchase poppers from Berlin online. <laughs> <laughs> they know your women's shoe size is really a 15. <laughs> Four, always be kind and good to people, especially if they have money. <laughs> Oh yes, be nice to the poor as well. <laughs> One can never be sure if a camera lurks nearby to capture your good deeds. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, number five. Institutions also spells intuitions if you're dyslexic. <laughs> A wise soul once said, if you reach for the moon, you'll find yourself amongst the stars. You'll incinerate and combust passing through the atmosphere, <laughs> but yes, star. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, stay booked, stay blessed. Up next, Raja. Raja's wearing the latest edition. <laughs> this is the Anna Wintour of our discontent. <laughs> Voile in French means veil. See what I did? I can be a little bit of a maximalist. If you give me a challenge, I might take it too far and you're gonna love it. Well, she's really got this look covered. <laughs> yeah, she certainly does. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies. Based on your graduation speeches and your veiled runway presentations, I've made some decisions. The top two all-stars of the week are... Jinx Monsoon and Raja. I am elated. <laughs> the time has come for you to live sync for your legacy. Good luck, and don't <laughs> it up.
performing Titanic. Give it up for Mr. Atlantic deep, my loots I keep. Sink my bling bling, bye bye ring. Treasure chasing, danger facing. Maybe you're drowning, frozen, frowning. Honey, your heart, why so cold? That's hot, melt like gold. Club it in our juicy coop. Call me Angel Lucy Lou. What's your painted? Raja. Get a load of those smoky mountains. <laughs> I've been a Dolly fan for decades, and this is like a fantasy for me. I have long red nails, big, big giant blonde hair, glass beads, crystals, rhinestones. Look at me, I'm Dolly <laughs> Parton. She's really Joe leaning into this look. Mm. <laughs> so Raja, you've done very well in design challenges. Is there extra pressure on you to really turn it out? Yes, and I like it. This is the kind of pressure I like. Yeah. So you were assigned the Born Naked promo look. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was your first choice? The first one would have been the supermodel of the world. Yeah. Because that's the one that I am most emotionally connected to because I was graduating high school in 92. Mm-hmm. And you slapped me in the face with drag and woke me up as a kid, you know? Wow. And you were part of that very important era. So that was my first choice. Uh -huh. But this was on my in my top three. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? I love it. I see that you have a sketch there that's very, very Thunderdome. Exactly. That's kind of the shape that I want to do. And yeah. I'm doing it out of a series of ropes. And, and lots of uh, texture there. Lots of texture, because I don't want to compromise the white too much, but I definitely want to see textures for tone. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I love this direction you're going in. You've got one legendary legend star. Mm -hmm. How are you going to turn this into a second legendary legend star? Well, this challenge in particular, I hope, will take me there. Holy, yes. yes. Fingers I, and I'm toes crossed. optimistic. Cross. Yes. I'm very optimistic. See you on the runway. I'll see you on the runway. Up next, Raja, reimagining my born naked promo look. Well, you're born naked and the rest is rags. <laughs> Say yes to distress. <laughs> this girl, she's in the middle of the desert, dancing to her rave music, and the sand is blowing through her, and she's got goggles on, and she's like on a tank also. That's the fantasy. Two men enter, one queen leaves. <laughs> Miss Scrooge, you're late. Sorry, I was giving my boyfriend a frosty. <gasps> Oh, come, all ye faithful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so cute. Hey, new girl. Yeah? I'm Scrooge. It's short for Lisa. <laughs> I'm Hannah, and even though she's a goth and I'm a nerd, we're BFFs. Hannah, do you hear what I hear? Yeah. Miss Corn went missing. She's the fifth teacher to disappear this week. Did you say Miss Corn? I overheard the headmistress call her into her office. Noelle, why are you over there talking to those losers? I heard they're here on scholarship. I've never even gotten a scholarship. In fact, my parents paid extra for me <laughs> to be here. <laughs> you know, Mary, bullying people isn't very Christmas-like. What would Santa do? He'd put coal in your stocking. <laughs> then shove it up your ass. <laughs> ladies, ladies, knock it off. <laughs> My classroom will always be a safe space. Let's share our paintings with the class. Scrooge, mine shows the real Santa. <laughs> do you see what I see? I don't think Santa would appreciate that very much. Should I just go back to selling crystals at the swap meet? I wonder if Santa's hung by the chimney. <laughs> oh, that's the one! <sighs> How come when there's a senseless string of murders, people always suspect me? Oh, look, it's the devil worshippers. Just because we don't believe in Santa does not mean we worship the devil. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Hey, who's that above your bed? Elvira, obsessed. I'm gonna be here for Halloween. <gasps> you celebrate Halloween? Yeah, check this out. Whoa. Scrooge. 
Where did you get all that stuff? I could go shopping for Halloween, too. Maybe I could get some cat ears or something. <gasps> Holly's dead! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God! Cool. We have to do something before Santa slights again. But Santa's not real! <laughs> Santa's not real. Ooh. I'll show you Santa's not real. <laughs> we have to call the police. What's the number for 911? Oh, Santa, Send someone to the girls' school. Santa's straight up murdering people. I'm sure if Santa's killing people, he has a good reason. Wait a second. I smell gingerbread. The main ingredient in gingerbread is nutmeg, which is the nickname of... <gasps> Headmistress Nutmegan! Well, you got me, gal! <gasps> what? But why? I did it to preserve the meaning of Christmas. None of this happy holidays, non-dominational bull tinsel! <gasps> No. No. Where you're headed, Santa won't be coming down your chimney <sighs> because prisons don't have chimneys. Yeah. And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. Hail Santa! Hail Santa! Uh, who wants Halloween candy? Oh, I do. I do. Yes, please. please. Up next, Raja. I think you mean Nicarella. Yes. <laughs> So you're telling me you can only f with one arm? <laughs> this is a look that is based on the juxtaposition of something that is completely futuristic and modern and something as ancient as weaving. Honey, Miss She3PO is now a knitting grandmother, and I think that's the aesthetic. <laughs> I'll have the gold plate special, please. <laughs> Friends, the top two all-stars of the week are... The Vivian and Raja. Oh my God! Oh, yes, Raj. Cool. Get it, Raj. <laughs> oh my God. The time has come for you to lip sync for your liberty. Good luck and don't <laughs> it up. decision. Raja, congratulations, you're a winner. You've won a cash tip of $10,000. Oh, my God. Congrats. Hi, everyone. It's Raja. 
just here to check in on you. I realize that life can be very frustrating and challenging at times. May I suggest that you do the Raja? The R stands for Radical Radiance. I believe that you should radiate happiness and choose joy at all times. The A is for affirmations. Give yourself some love affirmations. <laughs> mm. The J is for joy. Jump for joy, honey. Choose joy. Be joyful. It's all about the joy. <laughs> and the final A is for awakening. Perhaps if you combine all of these together, you may have your own awakening. Now from the top. So bloody tall. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. You were giving us like a new age macarena. There you oh, go. It's Raja. I see some pink flamingo. <laughs> Ooh, I suddenly see more. My outfit is resort wear, obviously. It's made for warm weather. It's like she rolled around in all of Boca Raton. Yes, yeah, she did. This is also for someone who enjoys a glimpse of psychedelics in her life. So it's florals, but florals on another planet. I think my shrooms just kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> That's one fly trap, huh? Ah. With great power comes great responsibility. Swan, swan, swan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now it's time for television's proudest moment. <laughs> Please. Welcome our first honoree, Prasha. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raja, an honoree of the Kennedy Davenport Center Honors Hall of Shame. <laughs> <laughs> I've made it. I've really, really made it. <laughs> Rue and I, you know, we go way back. The first time I met Rue, I asked her for an autograph. That handprint still remains on that cave wall today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Monet. I heard Monet lives in Hollywood now, but her hairline lives in Reseda. <laughs> 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 I Ubered here today, and my driver was an oversharing alcoholic with rancid B.O. <laughs> that mother still had more stars than Shea Coulee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Vivian has joined us from Liverpool, which is ironic because her liver is drowned in a pool of booze. <laughs> <laughs> Has done so much ketamine, people are betting on her at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Before I exit, a few words about our next esteemed speaker, Evie Oddly. You know, Evie's got such amazing, quirky, eclectic style, and by style, I mean she has a massive donkey dick. Please welcome <laughs> to the stage Evie Oddly! First up, Raja. You better chrysalis that walk. <laughs> I just brought a little something I'd wear to the supermarket to buy some quinoa, perhaps. Just 200 lasers and Swarovski crystals on a 3D printed butterfly page. Ow, I think I just accidentally got LASIK. <laughs> the reason why I do drag is to shock, to titillate, to ultimately, you know, create a vignette that is something that I consider beautiful. Call her Brian Dennehy, because she's doing great things after coming out of her cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Raja. I actually have the actual Tic Tac that sat on my plate from season three, and it sits on the top of my altar at home. Oh, oh my shit. My Tic Tac is not orange anymore. It's now brown and stuck to the bottom. But it's the f***ing real Tic Tac. You are so eclectic, so <laughs> all of that Rajaness. Yeah. Did you ever deny the Raja? No. I mean, I, you know, growing up in the church, I think there was moments where I felt like I had to kind of tamper it down a little sure, bit. Yeah. The religion and the faith really kind of, uh, you know, affected what my parents tried to instill in me. But, you know, my dad knew that I was just a, a free bird always, you know. He was yeah. very, very proud 
when I won Drag Race. He, he had never seen me do drag before that. That must have been amazing, not only for you, but for your, your family. Yeah, it still is. I think my family really still loves that, you know? What good things did you take away from your experience in church? Christian values are parallel to so many other faiths, aren't they? It's just be nice to each other, don't kill nobody. Don't f your neighbor. Don't f your neighbor. Well, mate, you can well, f your neighbor. If they're married. Right, something like that. Well, RuPaul! If they want it. Oh, yeah, I f***ed a few neighbors, for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> so, now, what charity are you performing for? I've chosen uh, the National Center for Trans Equality as my charity. They advocate for the trans community, and that really is a special place in my heart, considering that I've learned drag m mainly from trans women. Yeah. So, it just felt fitting. And what are you going to do for your talent? Well, since I grew up in Bali, I'm doing a Balinese temple dance. Ooh. And <laughs> I also think it's my responsibility to showcase my culture as an Asian. I'm the only American Asian winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I think that's a very important role for me. And I might not ever do this again. Actually, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> never. Thank you, but never. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Raja. <laughs> All right, go and rehearse. Right. Cannot wait to see your performance. OK, bye. Thanks, baby. This is it. We're getting ready for our last maxi challenge in the entire competition. The Drag Race Gives Back Variety Extravaganza. You ready? She ready? I'm ready. Spaghetti. You excited, Chen? Yeah, bitch. How are you feeling? I feel great. It's a very important day for me, and I need to be ready, physically, mentally, creatively. Raja, you're so flexible. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> There's a lot of pressure, obviously, because you can win three stars and potentially win 200K and a really fantastic crown. You know, I still want that fresh new crown because mine's that old tinsel one. Kakata cow, that's what I want. Kakata kitty cat cat. You already know. You already know. From Bali with love, it's Raja. We all knew in watching it that this was something very special. Uh, how did it make you feel? This is a lifelong um, dream. <sighs> um, um, my father, when he was alive, loved to tell a story about me. As a little boy, my family was at an airport, and my family lost me for a second. And so they went searching and searching, and a few feet away, little three-year-old Sutan found a stack of suitcases, and there I was dancing. Dancing this. And uh, it, was my, it was my dad's favorite story to tell. And I don't know if the aura you feel is actually me. It could be my dad. <sighs> because... I feel him in the room. I always feel him in the room. Thank you so much for letting me live out a childhood dream and, um, and to make my family and my parents very proud. And also, I hope that uh, the Indonesian Tourism Board um, is watching so that they may sponsor me. <laughs>
<laughs> so I will be sending the link when this airs. So. <laughs> Raja. Oh. Ooh. It's our final eleganza extravaganza of the whole eleganza. And my main thing about coming here, other than winning the prizes, was to remind people of what Raja is. And maybe they didn't even invent a word for this. Legendary is an understatement. It's a little bit aquatic, it's a little bit space-like, and it's also very much insect, which is a message to remind all of us that we are small beings like insects on this planet. And it's just spacey cool. Jade is like my little infant baby. But you know what? I'm going to have to pull her off my breast tonight and put her in her little seat. I love you, baby, but Mama's got to go to work, honey. Good luck. And don't it hurt. My decision. The queen moving on to the final round will be Raja. Congratulations, you're a winner, baby. Yes. <laughs> awesome. You will be moving on to the final round of the she had already did had hers is SmackDown for the crown. Raja, you can go get ready. Thanks, you guys. Yay! I win, I win, I win. Wow, this is crazy. I'm still in the game. Good luck. And don't it up.
Atreides, I've made my decision. The queen of Sheena and Arryn and Han Harris's, the winner of a cash prize of fifty thousand dollars, is Raja. <laughs> <laughs> What you're looking at right now, friends, is the official queen of. She done already had hers. Oh yes, the queen of she done already had her share. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> I'm so thankful to you, Rue. Oh, am I getting? Am I gonna cry? No, I'm not. Put this down. But Rue, you know how much you mean to me. The trajectory that you've made in my life has. You've always been such a huge part of it. You're an actual angel in my life. So, thank you so much. I've always been a fan. And I've always seen your remarkable spirit and talent, and it gives me so much joy and so much pleasure to have you on the stage. Hey, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want gay? Shit? Check out RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel and hit subscribe.